So hello everybody, it is Wednesday, so it's time for another Power BI video. This time is also a request video by you, in this case it's by David. And David asked me, hey, like, hey um, I would, could you do a video about the different ways that you can copy paste to stuff in Power BI? And I said, yes, yes, it sounds like a fun video, let's do it. So I started collecting how many ways you can actually copy paste things in Power BI and I found 13. 13, but the one I want is still not here. I'll tell you at the end which one is it. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to show you 30 ways to copy and paste things in Power BI. Ready? Let's go to first Power Query. I'm going to show you how to do stuff in Power Query. Um, the first thing I want to show you is if you want to copy a single value, you can just select it here and then you can just copy it there and probably you can copy it here. So you right click and you copy and it will copy, okay? So number one, wait, number two, I use this all the time, all the time when I'm importing different tables from the same source. So this is Google Analytics. I am going to go here, for example, to this table and I'm going to duplicate. Duplicate will do a copy of the um, query that you did with all the steps. Then you can go up here and then you can change the table. So you don't have to do all the oh, database name and server, blah, and you already done that once, it's enough. You duplicate and then you pick a new table and you're good to go. Good. Now, there is another option, option number three, and it is to reference. You can reference a query. If you reference a query, the difference between duplicate and reference, duplicate will copy the steps, all the steps, so you can manipulate them. Reference will not. It will give you just a, it goes back to the source and says that that's what we're copying and then that's what you see. And then you can continue building in here. Okay. So that is number three. Okay. Let's see. Number four. Uh, Copy Power Query queries. I've shown you this on a recent video. You can just go to Query, Copy, and then let's open a notepad of some kind. Go to a new one, and there you have it. And then you can copy all of them, and then it will copy all of them, okay? And you can copy between Power BI files. So you, once you have it there, you can paste it in there. and it will copy all the parameters and all the stuff that it needs to function. It is really good. Really good. Okay. Uh, number four, number five, you can copy the data that is in Power Query with an R script. I have a video on that. I am actually going to link down below to that video so you can get it. I'll make a note. There is another way to copy data and this this enter data. You can just put your data in there from an Excel file or whatever, you know, this reference tables or this metadata that you want to have, and then you can paste it in here and then have a table directly in here. So it's not resource, you know, accessing external source. Next one, copy a column. You're here in Power Query. Let's go into our hourly thing. And then you say, oh, I want to copy, um, First of all, we need to know how many rows we have in here to see how much it copies. So I don't know if you knew this trick, I've told you before, there is a count rows function and it will count all the rows that you have in there because you know Power Query only shows the first thousand rows. So we have 43,000 here. So if I go here and copy these, you can copy the column, go to Excel, we're going to paste it and it pasted 1000 rows. You see it down here. I was thinking, okay, what happens if I do the, now I know this is just profiling, but I was wondering maybe if it's profiling everything, we can actually copy everything. So if we copy again, it's only copying 1000 rows. So this is good if you want to have like some sample data, but it won't copy all the tables. and. You might be wondering, can I copy the entire table? Yes, you can. Let's do it. Okay, but, 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 but. It's only copying 
it copy more? No. So it, it is 1000 rows still, okay? But still, if you just need some sample data to do some stuff somewhere else, this is a great feature. Okay, let's move into Power BI pivot view thing. So we go back here. Ways to copy in here, let me show you. So if you are on the data tab, you have the possibility here to, you, you see here there are 98,000 rows. So if I go here and I copy, let's go back to Excel and copy that, paste that, sorry. Did it copy? I copy, we go back to Excel, paste. What's going on? Obey me. <laughs> yes, 98,000. 98,000. So it copy everything on the table, on the column, which is great. So there is no 1,000 rows limit. Now, if you want to copy the entire table, you don't need to select everything like in Power Query. You can just right click and do copy table. So if we go in there and paste. Didn't I say copy table? Copy table, please. Working on it. It is quite a few rows, so it's not wonder that it needs some time to think about it. Let's go. We go to Excel and we paste. And now we have 49,000 rows. So it has copied the entire table. Great, right? So I've shown you before, which is my next tip, how to do this on DAX Studio, where you you know you go to DAX Studio, you connect your model, and then boom, it just exports the entire model in CSV. This is another way. You can just go if you just don't need the, all the tables. If you just need just a few, you can just copy the table, and it will copy everything into whatever you want. Okay, so let's check what we can do on the visual pane. We can copy all kinds of stuff. First of all, you have a table here. You can go to the table and you can go copy value. And yes, it copies the value. You have it there. Okay, what else you can do? You can go copy selection and we go to Excel and it copies the selection. Now, the next one is so if you select more rows, it will copy all rows. The next one is copy visual. And I thought when I read copy visual that it will copy all the data on the visual, but it does not. So if you try to do that in Excel, you copy visual and you might say, Ruth, this hope the one is doing. <laughs> it not visual me. She is not letting me. And I was like, what's going on? Now, well, copy visual is copy visual, okay? So it's not exporting visual because if everything else is ex copying data. I was thinking like, oh, it's going to copy everything on the table. No, it does not. So <laughs> my, my bad. Side speed. Let's go, baby. And there is to copy everything on the visual. There is not really a copy, but there is export data. And this will export everything on a CSV. It won't export everything if there is a limit to. I don't know if it's a thousand rows, but there is a limit. You won't be able to support everything. Uh, one more thing I want to show you. If we filter this by new visitor and we now copy table. So we have 63,000 rows. It's going to take a little bit of time. The thing is, will it copy everything or will it copy the filter data? The suspense is killing you, right? <laughs> Let me show you. Control shift. It copies only filter data, which is great. Great. So let's say you want to have a subset of your data for whatever reason. You are creating like supporting tables and you want to just copy that stuff. This is a very, very quick way to do it, okay? So now, this is all, no, there's one more, there's one more, there's one more. <laughs> if you want to, let's 
change this into a bar. And we want to have this format in here. I'll show you recently how to do that. There is a format painter. So if you go in there, it will format. You can only copy paste, you know, format, copy format once. Then you have to go again here for the next copy. But hey, it's not the end of the world. You just copy in there and then paste it somewhere and it will do. Okay. Now the thing that I am missing and that I'm missing from day one is how to copy measures. There's no way to copy measures and oh, it's killing me. It, because it's so easy. You can now bulk delete measures on the new modeling tab, which is great, but you can still not copy measures, or at least I don't know how to do it. So there is an idea on Power BI Ideas with just 400 votes. I don't know why it does only have 400 votes, but this is the only copy weight thing I'm missing in Power BI. Otherwise I'm fine. And uh, I'm going to put a link down below to this idea in case you're also missing it. So you can just go and vote. And hopefully we will get it very, very soon. Okay. So now hopefully there is a copy paste method that you didn't know that will help you in the future. Did I miss any? Let me know and everybody else in the comment box so we all learn something new. And this is all for today. I will see you again on Friday with another Dark Fridays. Don't know what it is yet, but hopefully something good. So take care and bye-bye. Uh,